Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new here my name is Zoe and thank you so much for watching. So today's video is the last one of 2020 and I will be back in the new year with some new videos every Wednesday at five o'clock as usual. So today's video um, I decided to film uh, what I got for Christmas and some kind of new in pieces that I've bought over the last couple of weeks. Um, I know some people don't like these videos so if it's not really your thing just don't watch this. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So the first presents I'm going to show you are the ones I had off my husband. I had no idea why he was getting me. I didn't really ask for anything. I just kind of, as you get older you just, I don't really care as much. I know that sounds a bit thin but you can probably agree. So I was very surprised when I opened my first present off him which is... Dyson hair dryer so I was super shocked to receive this as um, a Christmas present off him I know how expensive they are and honest to god I didn't think he'd buy one at all I didn't really ask for one we saw this a couple of weeks back when we went to Cardiff and I just like the color of it because if you know my living room decor has got like this kind of rustic browny orange and this is copper which is very similar and yeah I was so surprised when I opened this and honestly this is the best hair dryer I've ever used. If you had told me that it was like £300 for a hair dryer, I would have laughed and said never. But honestly, trying this is 100% worth the um, money. I haven't actually got it here, it's next door. What I was going to do is do a separate video on the Dyson hair dryer, like a review and what I really think of it. So if you want me to do that, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, this is the limited edition, kind of gift edition one. I'm not quite sure if they're just doing it as a limited colour. I have no idea. I haven't really looked into it before. Um, so this is what came inside. It's the hair dryer and I had this velvet kind of bag to store it in, which is really handy especially for traveling um, it comes with all the accessories and everything but yeah honestly I was so shocked that I got this and I'm super happy because I've got really quite long thick hair so this is a dream so yeah I think I'll do a review on this in a separate video so let me know in the comments below if you'd be um, happy to see that so that was one of my presents off my husband then the second item he bought me, and the last, because obviously the other item was really expensive, um, is one of my favourite um, perfumes. This is the Versace Eros, and this in fact is one of the first perfumes he bought me around five, six years ago. And I think I've only had it once since. So this is the third time having it, and I forgot how nice it smells. So this is what it looks like. So it's this beautiful kind of gold bottle with the famous Versace logo and if I open it it's like kind of clear at the back and it's got this lovely design and honestly I'm going to spray some now. I literally love the smell of this it's honestly one of my favorites and I like that it's the first one he bought me so it always kind of reminds me of that but yeah love this if you haven't smelt it go into your local Debenhams when we're out of lockdown or wherever you are and um, smell it. So super happy with my presence off him. The hair dryer is going to be used a lot and I'm going to try and use this sparingly because I don't want it to go. <laughs> so then the next gifts that I'm going to show you are off my parents. So, so the first item is the another perfume. So this is the Victor and Ralph Flower Bomb. Um, I knew I was having a perfume off my parents because they asked me which one I kind of like so I sent them a list of a few and then obviously they got one off there. So I'm really happy they chose Victor and Ralph Flower Bomb because between the Versace and this one they're both perfumes that I haven't had for a while but I still really like. I've got kind of like a select list of perfumes that are always my favourite scents and I keep going back to them because I think it's so important as an individual to have your favourite scents and this is one of them so I'm really happy that I've got two of my older favourites so it's really nice to have these in my collection and I honestly forgot how good this smells mm. and it's the larger bottle my parents know that I squirt a lot of perfume um, so maybe I should use less so these two go longer and then the next item then is a Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish. If you know me very well, you know that Liz Earl is one of my favourite skincare brands and I use it every single day, morning and night without fail. 
they picked me up the rose and lavender one which is honestly really really nice and i use this one in the evening so i think i'm going to open this one and just use it in the night only because i find the rose and lavender quite relaxing after a long day so i'm really glad that they bought me this on its own because i did say to everyone for christmas if you do plan on buying me liz it'll please don't buy me any gift sets um and i didn't want to sound awful saying that it's just because i've got so many of the extras that come in loads of different gift sets i'm worried that they're gonna go out of date so i'm trying to use my backlog but i'm always after the cleansing polish and um the toners and stuff so yeah so i'm glad i had that so definitely recommend that if you haven't tried it and then they also picked me up the Botanical Shine Nourishing Hair Oil, also from Liz Earle. This is one of my favourite hair oils. Well, it is my favourite. I haven't used anything else since discovering this. Um, one bottle, I think, usually lasts me about six months, so this is really handy. I think it's about £17, or it might have gone up in price, but I tried to save my boots points and pay for it, so I'm really happy that I got one of those. Uh, also, as usual, I'll try and link down everything I can below. Obviously, some stuff I'm not quite sure where it's from, if it was a gift, but I'll just try and link what I can. Also, off my parents' then, I received two books, and I've wanted these for a long time. They've been on my Amazon wish list. So the first one is How to Be Parisian, and this is by Caroline de Maigret. And the rest, Audrey Duan and Sophie Mass. I believe there's four authors. Not quite sure. Um, so yeah, I've always wanted this book. I've just had really um, good reviews on it. So I'm really excited to read this. Um, I'm not a massive um, reader as I've grown older. I obviously like a lot of kind of social media and looking online. So I think it's really nice to get a book again. So I've got this one. I have got a few in my collection. And also they picked me up then this book which I've wanted for a very long time, which is Capture Style. And it's by the famous blogger, I think her name is spelled Amy Son, but I believe she pronounces her name Army, as in like Army Son, so I'm not quite sure. So it basically says transform your Instagram photos, sh showcase your life and build the ultimate platform. So basically it says inside, with more than 3 million Instagram fans, Army Son knows a thing or two about taking the perfect photo and for the first time ever she's sharing her insider tips on creating a gorgeous feed and growing an audience. So I'm really excited to read this because if you haven't followed my videos for a while now, I'm kind of in the new year, so January the 1st. If you're not following me over Instagram, I'll leave my handle here. Um, I am starting a new feed. I've kind of fallen out of love with Instagram the last couple of months, and I know that sounds crazy when it's just a social media platform, but I just find that so many people were kind of posting the same things and having these beautiful, like, curated feeds and, like, all these kind of brand collaborations, and I just kind of fell out of love and I just didn't like the way mine looked, so I've been working hard on creating a really nice one. Um, I've been using the app Plan Alloy, I think that's how you call it, Plan Alloy. And um, yeah, so I'm really excited to share that and I really hope it's um, kind of successful and that people like it and I get a bigger audience And because it's so hard to grow on Instagram. And with the relaunch of my blog and doing YouTube, I'm just hoping kind of like the three really like take off and do well. So I'm excited to get stuck into this. Um, there's some beautiful images in that along the way and if you don't follow her make sure you do I'll leave her Instagram below So then Also off my parents then is obviously Nick has his own presents off my parents, but then as a joint present off them They bought us a bottle of our favorite rosé, which is the whispering angel one we honestly I've gone through quite a few of these throughout lockdown, so I'm savouring this and keeping it in the cupboard until maybe a couple of months' time, but I'm so happy that we've got a spare one so we know we've got one to use. They also then gifted us some money and we're hoping to put, um, obviously between us, so we're hoping to put that towards, I think, some new saucepans for the kitchen how adult of us <laughs> but we realized that our pans really need replacing we've had to bin a couple so we bought the odd one from home since a couple of weeks back just to take us through but we do really need a new set so we also need a new kettle there's nothing wrong with ours it's just the paint is peeling off but we have had it since we moved in so i'm not quite sure if i need to buy a new one like mine now or wait until we redo the kitchen and buy a new set all together i'm not quite sure like it still works it's just aesthetically it doesn't look great <laughs> so 
Moving on then, my um, presents of my mother and father-in-law. I had money, which was my main present, which I'm going to put towards something really nice. I'll talk about that later on. But also, of her, I had a few little bits to open. So the first one is this really cute makeup mug, um, uh, makeup brush by Bella and Bear, and it's really, really beautiful, soft brush. So this is going to be great for my. I think I'm going to use it for my satin powder. So this will be really good. Then I had a pack of three socks. One pair's in the wash because I've already worn them. They were the stripy ones. But I had these really cute ones with Christmas trees and snowmen on, and then a little penguin. I love having new socks for Christmas, and she always gets me some really nice socks each year. So they're really nice. And then I also had my favourite candle off her, which is the fairy dust one. I don't know if that's going to focus. Probably a bit bright. But this, I actually don't know where she gets these from, but honestly, smells amazing and look how cute it is inside so i'm really excited to burn that but also i get sad because it looks too pretty to burn so yeah really happy with those as uh, like little bits to it but i also had quite a few little chocolate bits but i've already ate them and the rest are downstairs so i won't show you them i also had some bath bombs as well which i'm going to show you because off our of my husband's brother and his fiance we had quite a few bath bombs so i've added the bath bombs I had off her into this basket so we got plenty of bath bombs to go through and then his fiance also makes these really cool resin pieces I'll leave her Facebook linked below and um, so she made this beautiful resin piece of um, I don't know if you can see the photo properly because the reflection of the window but it's a photo from a wedding in a resin heart and this beautiful kind of glitter kind of rustic orange and I like how she's used um, a colour from our lounge in that so this is going to sit I think in our hallway on our shelf so it's a really thoughtful gift and then off my husband's nan I had some really nice pieces I had this hat and glove set of her which is really super soft I think it's from Marks and Spencer's I believe the label is and I just love the colours they're so me like the pinks the creams and this burnt orange which I love if it's not already obvious and yeah the gloves to match I like that they've got the rustic trim and then I also had a really cute purse off her this is from the brand called Radley London and it's got like little three apples on it in this really nice burgundy colour and inside my favorite thing it says an apple a day <laughs> so that's the famous saying an apple a day keeps the doctor away which after 2020 is a really good saying to live by so that came in a nice pouch to keep it nice uh, to keep it nice and tidy also off um her i had a really lovely frame of um, a photo of me in my wedding dress with my little niece ivy i'm not going to show that on here because it's personal um so yeah that was really really lovely too and then i think that's mainly everything i had for christmas i had some money off other members of um family and also off my auntie and uncle and cousins i had a beautiful between nick and i um a massive yankee candle in i think it was cashmere the scent is downstairs i didn't want to bring it up um it's a huge glass one and it's in a beautiful kind of cream color if i can i'll put um a picture on the screen somewhere but honestly if you know me i love my candles and i'm very pleased that it matches my deco in my living room so it looked lovely on my mantelpiece as soon as my christmas one has finished so moving on then, I'm just going to talk to you about a couple of things that um, are actually going back to the money. So the money I had for Christmas off um, my mother and father-in-law and next uncles, I always put to one side. And I've actually still got my money left over from my birthday this year off a few family members, including my parents. And I'm just trying to save it all up and only buy something when I know I really want it. So there are a couple of things I really, really want as I'm approaching the age of 30. However, I'm definitely not going to be able to afford them all. Um, I've always wanted the classic Chanel bag, but honestly, I really wish I bought it back when I was 18, when I thought £1,600 was a lot of money, because these days it is now valued at £5,550. So it's a bag that just keeps going up and up. And I know that sounds like a ridiculous amount of money for a bag, but it's always been my dream bag and I really, really want it. And I know not everyone agrees with like materialistic things, but I really appreciate everything that goes into those bags. I've loved fashion from a young age. And to me, that's like an iconic purchase and it's something that'll always hold its money. 
then there is the fact that I really really would like a new watch. I've had the same watch since I was 21 and I wear it day in day out apart from right now. <laughs> Forgot to put it on to film. So yeah, I really like a couple of watches at the moment. Let me know which one's your favourite below. So I like the um, Cartier, the Omega, the Rolex and the Chanel J12. Um, yeah, it's obviously a massive purchase and I've got to save for it anyway, but I'm thinking, do I just keep that money aside and keep saving and saving and really put it towards something like one of those items, like a watch or the bag I've always wanted? So yeah, um, I'll have to save a very long time for those though. And I'm 30 next July, so yeah, <laughs> it's probably a bit too soon for that. So then the next couple of items I want to talk you through are just some kind of new in pieces that I've bought over Christmas. So the first one is this jumper I've got on. I'll insert a picture here of me um, styling it with my black skinny jeans from Bieber, my black paint and Dr. Martens, and my palm salt fedora hat, and an old River Island belt to cinch in the waist because this is super oversized, if you can see. I fell in love with this jumper when I saw it on Sophie Milner's Instagram, which I'll insert a picture here of her. Um, I found out then it was from Zara and it was completely sold out online. However, when I typed in the description um, into Google, it came up on eBay and the full price of this on Zara was $29.99. It had been reduced to $15.99 in the sale and then to $9.99. I'll leave the code on, on the screen now for you to look because it has been coming in and out of stock. However, the medium was back in stock and honestly, it's, it's huge. So like this is a small and um, you can see how big it is so I really recommend going as small as you can <laughs> the small probably will fit all sizes um, but I just fell in love with the colours I just love the turquoise and it's got like this brown and black and cream detail and it's kind of like Christmas but not Christmas so you can wear it um, kind of all well all winter not all year round and then the next item then is this H&M polo neck jumper dress in cream so my friend bought this one and said how nice it was and honestly it was going in and out of stock constantly. I had it in my favourites and I finally went on one morning after about a month of wanting it and it was finally back in stock in a small. Normally I'm a medium but this dress fits lovely in a small because it is a little bit more oversized and it's not fitted so I can get away with a smaller size. It's this beautiful cream roll neck jumper dress so it's got the ribbed detail in there and on the cuffs and at the bottom and it's got this quite a big split up the side so I'll insert a picture of me wearing it here for you to see better this was me on my husband's 30th birthday on the 23rd of December and I styled it with some studded boots from Zara pattern tights which I got a whole lot of love over on Instagram for which unfortunately are probably about 10 years old from autograph collection in Marks and honestly I love them so I am thinking of purchasing the Gucci tights I know they're really expensive at £90 but considering I've had those ones for 10 years and I, I wear them quite a lot I think it would be worth the um, cost so yeah really happy with this it's hard for you to see it keeps going in and out of stock again so honestly just keep an eye out it took me like a month to get it or I'm sure again maybe this is on eBay or Depop and then Finally, my Palms Holt hat arrived from Tia Lineker's brand. If you watched um, a video a couple of weeks back, I'd ordered this in a small, it was too small. Ordered it again in a medium, it was too small. So I finally went for the large, didn't realise I had a big head. And honestly, it's such a good quality. Super happy with that. I went for the classic black. I picked up the brown one in H&M, so I went for the black from her brand. These are quite expensive. I think I paid about £70 for it, but honestly, it's 100% wool. It's super good quality. This is really rigid, and I just think it's perfect, and it's going to be such a staple in my collection. So last but not least, um, if you followed me on my blog, which is relaunching this year as well, you will know that I absolutely love the Lily Polizia um, diaries. Um, I have one yearly. These are only available from Florida. I think I can buy them online in the UK. However, the shipping and customs cost could in fact double the price of this and I just didn't think it was worth it. 
So even though I'll miss having this this year, I have found a really nice diary which I bought off Amazon by the brand called Scribble and Dot. So this is how it came. So this is a nice box that it came in. I think I paid £15.99. Um, it was packaged really nicely. Um, this was the sign. So it's an undated planner. 140 GSM thick pages crafted for markers and pens, 174 pages bound by hand and it's um, yearly, monthly, weekly pages and a lifestyle tracker. So they've got a website there so I'll leave that linked below as well. So the actual diary itself I started filling in today so I won't show everything but I went for this kind of crocodile effect print one which says getting stuff done on which says getting stuff done on it and I've put my favourite Swarovski crystal pen inside. I'm kind of annoyed that this isn't silver. Um, if you had the choice that would be even nicer. Um, so the first page just says who it belongs to and the date it started. So I'm just covering my name there. And then, oh my god I can't even turn the page. So then the first page is a birthday list and so the first page then is kind of your birthday list and your bucket list and some goals and then for the monthly page I'll just show you February's because I've already filled in January's. So this is how it looks on page so you've got your monthly planner so you can fill in all your numbers for the days, um, the month and the year and then you've got lists here of goals and kind of what does that say priorities here and then you've also got this page for every month so it's a financial plan and also monthly habit trackers so that goes on for each month and then at the back I'll skip the first one because I've filled in this week but it's got a weekly view then so Monday to Sunday you fill in the dates and you can write down um, bigger of everything you've got going on. I personally prefer the monthly overviews because I, um, I like to see kind of what I've got going on in a month. So yeah I'm really happy with this, the quality is really nice, it's got a good weight and I personally prefer this size diary as opposed to like a smaller one because I like to have a bigger one just personally so yeah really happy with that so I'll leave that link down below as well for you to shop so I think I think that is everything so yeah I'm really happy with all the gifts I received this year as I said as you get older you don't really um kind of wish for anything um it's just one of those sins I think um but yeah so I really hope you enjoyed the video and I really hope you enjoyed the new in pieces I thought I may as well show them together so the first video of 2021 which will go live on the 6th of January I believe if that's a Wednesday um is gonna be I kind of think my goals and plans for 2021 or kind of a good way of looking at January without setting goals too hard for yourself to achieve. So yeah I really hope you enjoy and um, thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll um, Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel because it really helps me grow and come over to Instagram and say hey to me and follow along which I'll leave my handle again here. So yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in 2021. Bye!